Hey everybody, this is the Esoteric Cross. I make videos about how to gain your personal power while learning ancient secrets. If that sounds like something that you're into, please hit the like button and subscribe and gain insight from this perspective in the cosmos. Today is going to be a very different type of video than I normally make. We are going to talk about the Depp versus Heard trial. I think this is an important issue to talk about because it is a perfect example of distraction going on in our world. Jordan Maxwell talks about Hollywood and how the word Hollywood comes from the Druids who make their wands out of the holly tree. And Hollywood still works their magic on us today. I have always known that when the media highly publicizes something, it is always a distraction from something else. This is a psychological trick. I am honestly expecting comments disagreeing with me on this issue because people are emotionally invested in this trial because it reminds them of something that has happened in their personal lives. In my last video, How Esotericism Changes Your Life, I talked about how thoughts, feelings, and actions align, and this is how we operate, and this is how we get what we want, and this is ultimately also how we are controlled. I talked about how ads get us in our feelings in order to get us to take an action or to get our thoughts wrapped up into something, and that is exactly what is happening right now. I know this is not an ad, but this is a media circus, and when there is a media circus, there is mind control. The type of mind control that is being employed here is a distractive one. Also, I'm not defending Amber Heard in any way whatsoever, but this is almost like a ritual where everybody is collectively agreeing to crucify one person. Russell Brand made a video about this being a distraction, and I just wanted to add more to it because I felt like after I read the comments to that video that most people are not getting his point. Yes, a lot of people feel like they know more about the judicial system now since they've been watching this trial. More people feel like they got justice by watching this trial. And people can relate to the story because everyone has had a narcissistic person in their lives who caused damage. And we are, after all, moving towards a narcissistic culture. So there are more narcissistic people in the world, I believe, than there ever has been. But you see, this is the whole point. The point is that the trial is to get you in your feelings. This trial is supposed to make you feel a certain way. It is supposed to make you feel like you've got justice. And I'm not saying that the trial is fake or anything like that. I'm saying that this trial is being used as a media diversion tactic. It was chosen to be that for a reason, and it was televised. And Russell Brand made the point that the Hillary Clinton trial was not on display like this. Most trials are not. This is juicy Hollywood at its finest. Most of the time, when you see anything that has anything to do with Hollywood at all, it is a distraction. Not saying music is bad, I'm not saying movies are bad, but a lot of the time, you can find hidden symbolism in movies and music videos and art, and they can tell you exactly what's going on in the world. But a lot of people get wrapped up into the fantasy of it all. I don't care about the trial. I don't care who Will Smith smacked at the Oscars. I don't want to talk about these things. I want to talk about the meaning of life. I want to talk about what it is that we're doing here. I want to talk about the important things that are going on in the world. I want to talk about what we can really do about it. I don't care if Amber Heard is a narcissist. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the narcissists that are going on directly in your lives. I want to talk about how you can help yourself and how you can set boundaries and how you can protect yourself from people who do not have a good intention for you, like narcissistic family members and toxic people in your lives, or how you can protect yourself from the media, which is probably one of our most narcissistic toxic entities in our lives. It blows me away a little bit when I read comments on Facebook under headlines about the trial. And I see that people just attack Amber Heard as if she is reading these comments, as if anyone of any importance is reading these comments. Most of the time when people comment something, it's not for that person, they are commenting for themselves. Fitting in and being a part of the crowd and doing what everyone else does feels so great, doesn't it? 
and I'm not defending Amber Heard. She probably is a narcissist. Most people in Hollywood are. That's why they're in Hollywood. Most of these people do drugs on a regular basis, believe they are superior to other people, and perform acts that are almost unspeakable. Okay, now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about things that are happening in the world besides this trial. Ukraine and Russia has now been at war for about a hundred days. Palestinians are being injured in Jerusalem. The Chinese government is controlling their news outlets and trying to erase the memories of Tenement Square. Oh, does that sound like America? These are a few things that are happening in the world. Another thing to look at is what is going on with war. Who is the United States bombing right now? What laws are being passed right now? I will openly say that I'm not in any way an expert in law though it would be a very useful skill to have right now. When things are distracting you, you must look at the laws that are being passed, because honestly, think about it. Who looks at that? What kind of people care about laws that are being passed right now and the language that is hidden in these laws? Anyone out there who is watching my videos that is interested in law, please research the laws that are being passed right now and come back and tell us more information on this because like I said, I'm not an expert in that at all. What I can assume is that there are laws that are being worked on at the moment that are very cleverly designed to take away rights and freedoms from people. I researched the most viewed bills right now, and I'm going to provide that link in the description below, so if you want to check that out, please do so. Like I said, if you know anything about laws, please read it and come back and leave a comment and talk about it. The way laws are written aren't confusing for no reason. I can promise you that. The bottom line here is that Hollywood is an expert in distracting people during important times. And I know this video is very, very different from the videos that I normally make, but I can't sit here and not say something about it. Please do your research and please stay safe. If you're having issues dealing with a narcissistic and toxic person in your life, or if you're trying to heal from one, I would invite you to join my event on Eventbrite. We are going to talk about esoteric knowledge and we're going to do a Kabbalah meditation together. But this would also be a great way for you to get to know me and for me to get to know you. I'm also starting a spiritual coaching business where I will work one-on-one -on -one with people to help them overcome limiting beliefs, to purify their consciousness, to transform themselves, and to take actions that they need to get where they want to be. I personally have dealt with narcissistic abuse. And it has affected the way that I think, feel, and act in my life. And I have developed ways to heal myself. And I can share that with you. So if you would like to join the event, the link is in the description below. It is going to be on Sunday, June 12th at 4 p.m. I can't wait to see you there. And I seriously hope that there is something new that you are able to take away from this video. If so, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.